In this video, we discuss the specifications, components, and general maintenance inspection routine for an Airboss ChemBio isopod. Operating in its negative pressure mode, the Airboss ChemBio isopod was designed for safely transporting a patient with a highly consequential pathogen of concern or chemical agent. Other versions of this isolation device are manufactured by this company. A large proportion of this video is also applicable to those devices. The Airboss ChemBio isopod is equipped with the following features. The isopod enclosure, a pillow, two snorkel ports with hook and loop straps, one at each end of the enclosure, two HEPA filters for mounting to the exterior, two HEPA OVAG filters for mounting in the interior, a blower motor, three breathing hoses, and a three-way valve, four plastic spine segments, transport straps, hand grips, a pass-through port, a vertical drop bag, glove ports, interior patient restraint straps, a spine board pocket, and a support plate pocket. The ChemBio isopod is constructed of materials resistant to chemicals and weighs in at 40 pounds. Its overall dimensions when assembled are 87 inches long by 27 and a half inches wide by 18 and a half inches high, allowing it to fit on a hospital cart or gurney. It's contained in a single duffel bag, enhancing portability. The unit is equipped with HEPA and HEPA OVAG filters using the standard NATO threads for ease of replacement. To reduce the risk of exposure to high-consequence pathogens during patient transport, the air filtration system for the CAMBIO isopod is equipped with a microprocessor-controlled air blower capable of filtering chemical, biological, and radiological agents in its negative pressure mode. It performs 16 air exchanges per hour and, dependent on the condition of the battery, will run for approximately 8 hours. Batteries take about 6 hours to charge. A fully charged battery can be operated from an AC power supply for 72 hours. You should always start with a fully charged battery. A green indicator light will show when the battery is fully charged. Consider placing a label with the last charge date directly on the blower motor. In the event it becomes necessary, the system was developed to allow the user to safely change filters during transit and still maintain negative pressure. This is referred to as a hot swap and is covered in our assembly and operation video. Finally, the ChemBio isopod has the capability to operate in ambient temperatures between minus 4 Fahrenheit and 120 Fahrenheit. Inspecting the interior and exterior of the ChemBio isopod before use is an important element in mitigating the risk for exposure. Broken or improperly functioning components of the unit put the user at increased risk. Consider developing a checklist to be sure nothing is overlooked during inspection. Check all rib and spine components are present and functioning correctly. Inspect each glove port on the interior and exterior of the ChemBio isopod to verify they are intact and the nylon tie is secure. Ensure the zippers on the vertical drop port are functional. Verify that the yellow pass-through cap is intact and installed properly. Ensure the gasket in the yellow pass-through cap is present and intact. Check that the hook and loop straps for the head and foot end snorkel ports are present and operational. Verify transport straps and buckles are attached and undamaged. 
Check hand grips are attached and intact. Check interior patient restraint straps are intact and buckles are functioning as designed. Check filter port fittings at the head and foot for damage and ensure a gasket is installed and intact. Inspect the blower motor for damage. Remove the green storage caps and verify gaskets are present and intact. Shake the blower motor to check for loose parts inside the unit. Power on the blower motor to ensure that it's functioning. Check the three-way valve for damage. Inspect the breathing hoses for cracks or holes. Inspect the battery charger for damage. Verify necessary filters are intact and not expired. Do not remove filter packaging unless you're ready to use the filter. If you're assembling the isopod for use, be sure the caps on the top and bottom of the filters are removed. Any caps remaining on the filters will block airflow. This will seriously affect the functionality of the isopod. Consider using expired filters for training and label accordingly. Mm -hmm.